so I haven't actually thought about what I'm going to wear today. This is what I'd really love to wear, my new coat. Massive and unflattering, but I really don't care. I just look stupid, but no, because it's like, it's too hot. She's not picking up the phone. I also love my new Chanel trainers. I just think brilliant. Jealous of your trainers. Who are you? I love being jealous of my trainers. I love them. You look very chic, Sarah Harris. Thank you, Sarah. You know what I mean? Like, they like that. Wow. They moved, they made a couple of them Did you go to New York? Yeah, you did. How are you feeling? You're feeling exhausted. Yeah, tired. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Tired. Can I stick for breakfast? Yeah, one. My job is making sure everybody gets to everything. We divide up um, the shows by editors. So the, the team are split and they sort of divide and conquer. This is our method. What we don't want is for everybody to go to one big show, get stuck in traffic and miss the next one. It's broken up into three cars, A, B and C. As long as everybody checks their daily schedule and checks where they're meant to be, it should all go according to plan. First time I've uh, driven for the London Fashion Week, so this is, I'm a virgin. And are you a fashion fan yourself? Well, I've been married a long time, so, um, and my wife was always into dressing up into, and that's what attracted me, because she always used to live in high heels. So this is Roxander show. What do we do at Fashion Week? Um, well, I guess for British folk, we have to support British designers. There isn't a huge amount of advertising money that comes from British fashion. There are a lot of us, millions of us are. And it's like an army. In a way, I feel like our role is to, to be the cheerleaders for these British names who might not get the attention. And on the other level, we're actually just there to see see what they're doing and to, to feed it into what we're going to do for the next six months. I think people kind of feel like, well, if folk pay attention, then they're going to pay attention. I just got back from New York Fashion Week and then I landed, went home to change, threw everything in at the dry cleaners and now, yeah, London shop. London Fashion Week is always, um, well, it's always been very exciting from the point of view of creativity and ideas and in recent years that's also been married to a kind of slightly more um, pragmatic sense of um, the fashion industry, the business of fashion, I suppose. Oh, I see you, I see you. Oh, no, I know, I know, I know. I think it is a race to always get to the next show. It does feel a bit like a game of tennis. You're like ping-ponging from sort of, you know, one venue to the next. Public must look at us as who are these strange peacocks <laughs> and why are they wearing birds. these ridiculous clothes these... at 10am on a Sunday morning. I mean, not that, I mean, a cashmere roll neck is kind of quite, you know, chill. But... What's, how would you describe your look today? Navy. <laughs> navy? No, navy with a jazzy shoe. It's important to look good for the shows, but it's also important to remember that it's kind of not about you, it's about what the designers are doing. 
striking there. <laughs> and also, the big thing about Fashion Week probably is the lighting. Lighting the music choices. <laughs> and like, full on, you go to like, essentially a 10 minute rave, and then it's over. You get back in the car and you're like, and then you come out again. <laughs> 10 minute rave, back in the car. It's like, up, down, up, down. I think fashion week has changed. There's a whole new sea of people who, um, since I suppose on digital social media and people having blogs and you see them standing around sort of dressed up to the nines and you sort of feel like, you know, you could transport them to sort of Hollywood, you know, in the time of the golden, you know, when people got picked up for just being beautiful. Constant snacking is a, is, a, is a good way forward. Well, so you just called me back and said, Do you have any sunglasses? And I was like, Yeah, and it was really sweet. So, yeah, I found them really sweet. Speaking. Hello. Hello. Hi, Scott. Where are you? Yeah, I can be with you in a, a, a one less than one minute. I'm just around the corner. When um, when all the shows are over, we have a, a big meeting. Everybody um, everybody comes along, and you discuss just what you've seen, which. On a personal note, it's so exciting because eventually the clothes that we're seeing on the runway are going to be in the magazines. I mean, I always think of Vogue, you know, our job is to look at the trends, look at the clothes, sort of almost sort of dissect and make what we've seen understandable. And I think that's Vogue's job is to interpret and make sense of it. And I hope we do the both.